Alrighty, here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's the Nasty One here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Freebooters franchise here in year number three. Last time out in game number four, we got beat up on again by the Herbisaurs as they defeated us 10 0. Complete game shutout from their starter Olaf Slackov as four starter Deshaun Levon. Uh, did nothing for us in his four or five innings of work. I don't remember exactly how long he lasted, but it wasn't very impressive. Um, and at the end of the game, we got fed up with rookie shortstop Sergio Hunter and cut his ass and brought in veteran shortstop Snag Roper, formerly of the Wild Pigs organization, who started this year as a free agent here in his third season. First two were with the Wild Pigs. He's now with us. And in the fifth game here, it's going to be our first match of the year versus the Hot Corners. Another road game for us as we're 0-4 on the season in four road games. Hopefully we're going to turn things around in this one. Winnie Noel, our ace, is on the hill. A 3 ERA and a 150 whip. She took a no decision on opening day as we lost in extra innings that game. And on the mound will be their number two pitcher for the Hot Corners, Isaac Bobbert, the second year uh, right hander, has no record, an 18 ERA, and a 3.33 whip. Hot Corners coming into this contest 1 and 4. Our lineup for today's game looks like this rookie third baseman Christopher Woody will lead off, followed by left fielder Dan Cervelos. That's right, Velos is moving from right field to left field for this game as Gia Axelson is tense, so she will be on the bench. Batting third is first baseman Stump Pitts. Batting fourth is D.H. Wicks Redder, who is locked in, having a three hit game last time out. Batting fifth, making his season debut, is the shortstop Snag Roper, newly acquired. Batting 6th is rookie center fielder Nico Jennings. Batting 7th is second year second baseman Spitz Snell. Batting 8th and making his uh, Super Mega League debut is rookie backup catcher Parker Freeman, getting the start today over Ho so he can rest. And batting 9th, making his season debut is right fielder Dominic Burnside, coming off the bench as Axelson goes to it. Uh, also, at the end of last episode, for those that did miss that part, uh, we lowered the difficulty from 85 to 83, as I think that was playing a factor into how well our team was doing. I didn't want to lower it too low, because I know at 80, I was kicking the crap out of people. So I didn't want it to become like too much of winning, 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 winning. But I also got really tired of it being losing, 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 losing. <laughs> so I'm thinking dropping it down will give us a more balanced experience, where things will be closer, instead of it being... Um, either a blowout victory, a blowout loss, or like a close victory for us. Generally, it's been close victories or blowout loss. Pitts to up here against Bobbert. Let's see how he did in his first start as Woody leads off. Rookie's hitting 294 on the season. For Bobbert in his second year here, he's a B- minus overall. Uh, he did have a no decision last start, giving up six earned runs and only three innings pitched. His whip is a 3-3-3, and his AO ERA is an 18. He gave up eight hits as well with two walks. One of those hits was a home run, and he struck out four. His batting average against is 471 here on the season. All right. What are you ready? Here's the pitch from Bobbert. Fastball low and in. Inside, ball one. Move that. I had to move that out of the way so I don't knock it off the bed. All right, here we go. One and pitch. Here's the pitch from Bobbert. Fastball down and in for a strike. One and one the count. Uh, Bobbert is known for using primarily his four seamer and his cutter. He will go to his changeup and curveball from time to time, but he does like to throw the heat. Now the only problem is he can't aim any of his pitches. Fastball up, swung late by Woody. One and two. Cutter away is skied down the right field line and on to the right fielder calling off. The other fielders is right fielder Stallion Johnson, the former Moose outfielder, as he makes the first catch of the game. One out. I'm going to bring up right left fielder Dancer Velos, hitting 333 with two RBIs on the season. Fastball high, ball one from Bobbert. Fastball. <laughs> Chased it again. One and one the count. Late again. One and two. Cutter down in the way, dribbled past the mound to shortstop, barehanding at his homes and firing in time to get Velos two down. And now to bring up the third hitter, first baseman Stump Pitts, hitting 278 with two RBIs on the season. Also has contact versus right handers active here as he's facing Bobbert. Change up away is just outside from Bobbert, ball one. Fastball up and in, fist to the third, making the catch is Bobby Bash, and that will end the inning. One, two, three for Bobbert here in the mound. On the, in the mound, yes, he's standing in the mound as he's throwing on the mound. Drumpf, Holmes, and Jumps will lead off here against Noel. Here's left fielder Julia Drumpf in her second year, hitting 375 so far on the season. Here are Noel's numbers in her first start. 
Uh, she went six innings in that uh, debut on opening day, uh, three uh, ERA with a 150 whip. Two earned runs given up in those six innings. She gave up eight hits, one walk, and struck out six batters, having a very good performance for herself. Now we're going to take a look at the Hot Corners lineup today. Uh, left fielder Jump, followed by that, is locked in shortstop Nora Holmes, back for her third year. Back for his third year is second baseman Jeb Jumps. He's also locked in. Also back for his third season is first baseman Dirk Sportswood. He's also locked in. I'm sensing a trend here. Belter, the DH today, uh, he is uh, tense in the five hole, batting sixth is center fielder Geronimo James, returning for his third year as well. Uh, coming into his first season with the Hot Corners and third in the league is right fielder Stallion Johnson. Uh, batting eighth is third baseman Bobby Bash, back for his third year with the Hot Corners. And batting ninth is catcher Jermaine Reigns, our former catcher, his second year with the Hot Corners, I believe. And uh, let's see, Bash is also tense. Forgot to mention that. All right, here we go. Noel's ready. Here's the first pitch. And I already fluffed that. Okay, fastball in the dirt at 100 on the gun. Slider away in inside, 2-0. Oh. Change it down. Line to short, and Roper making his debut makes the first catch on the defensive side of things. One down. Brings up Holmes, hitting 300, two homers, six RBIs, and she's locked in. I can see why she is locked in. Two homers and six RBIs with a 300 batting average is not bad for five games so far in the season. Fastball down, below the knees, ball one. Lighter away, outside, 2-0. Oh. Two-seamer down and in, is lined to first base, but it's right at pits. Two down, so two outs on two line outs, and then I'll bring up short second baseman Jeb Jumps. He's locked in, hitting 381. That's pretty good. He's getting on base a lot. One homer, two RBIs. First pitch, two-seamer up and away. Called a strike, 0-1. Change it down. Line down the right field line, but that's going to hook foul as Burnside can't get there. It's 0-2. Noel looking to put jumps away here. Fastball up and in. Line to third. Woody will make the catch, and that's three line outs to three different infielders here. One, two, three inning for Noel to match Bobbert to the second. Ready or Roper and Jennings will be up here against Isaac. Uh, apologies if that's really loud. My microphone's down by my throat right now. <laughs> D.H. Wicks at Redier's up, hitting 556 with an RBI in the season. Locked in, having three hits last episode. Curve ball below the knees. Ball one from Bobber. That's the first one he's thrown today. Cutter is outside, 2-0. and oh. So far out of 12 pitches, Bobber has thrown about 9 or 10 fastballs. So you can see the disparity between his pitches. Here's the 2-0 pitch as Bobbert is set, thinking about what he wants to throw. It's a fastball. Go figure. Man, I caught the zone. 2-1. and one. Cut her away. I think I was outside as I grounded the second base. Jumps will make the play. One down. Brings up the shortstop snag roper, making his season debut here as the third-year veteran will be playing shortstop for us for the foreseeable future. Change up low in the dirt. Ball one. The good thing I like about the roper signing is that we didn't lose any skill level between him and Hunter, both were B pluses. Roper is only six years older than Hunter, and Roper is actually a much better hitter and a much better fielder than Hunter was. Uh, comparatively, Roper has better contact. He has a lot more power. He doesn't run as well. He's actually a very poor runner. But other than that, he was a better fielder and he had a better arm at shortstop. So, really, I think we got the better end of the deal. 1-0 pitch from Bobbert. Fastball's inside. 2-0. Fastball up, swung late, two and one. Fastball away, chased outside again as it's popped up the shallow right. Out for it jumps this time. He'll call off Johnson, making the catch two down. Now to bring up the center fielder Jennings. The rookie is hitting 294 with an RBI on the season. First pitch from Bobbert is a curve ball below the knees. Ball one. Thinking he's going to throw a high heater here. He does, and I chase it. <laughs> Grounded softly to short. Holmes backhands and fires. It's another 1-2-3 inning for Bobbert. Making his life easy. We're chasing a lot of pitches out of the zone. Got to be less aggressive here. I know he's a wild thrower. I got to work the count. Bottom two we go. It's nothing, nothing. Sportswood, Belter, and James do up. Here's first baseman Dirk Sportswood. He is locked in in the first base position today in the four hole, hitting 286 with two RBIs. So he's hitting well as of late, but not hitting well overall. Slider away is outside. Ball one. Fastball at the knees. Hard grounder in the hole to right field. That's going to be a base hit. First hit of the game for either club will go to Sportswood, who will keep his hot hitting going. 
Lead off man on for Belter to the VH, who's tense right now, having slumped down quite a bit early. Looks like he has two homers, three RBIs, and a 261 batting average, so he's probably up closer to 300. And he hit a couple solo home runs earlier in the season by the looks of things. First pitch fastball up and away is a high for ball one. The good thing about Sportswood is he's not going to run. He's not a very good runner. Two-seamer down in the way. Check swing at the knees. Belter lets it go, and that's going to even the count up at one. Slider down and in. Off the glove of Freeman, and that's going to bounce away, and that will allow Sportswood to get the second. Poor speed and all. Rookie's got to do a better job back there. Change up away. Lined in the left field. Velosan charging. That's going to drop for a base hit. Throw comes to third quickly, but Sportswood advances. Base hit for Belter, who's back to neutral mojo, and runners at the corners now with none down for James. Hitting 263 with two RBIs for Geronimo here on the season. It's actually a pretty good average, all things considered. He's normally a very poor hitter. You see him rumping in, fouled back, going one. Yeah, for me personally, James just doesn't have a lot of pop. Slider down and in. Check swing again, caught a strike. It's 0-2 now as Noel forges ahead here. See if we can get him to chase this fastball up and away. Check swing, ooh, just outside. Good take, one and two. Change it down in the way. Check swing low. Two and two. You see him rubbing in. Runner goes. Oh! Noel took that too. Some place that I'm not allowed to say on Twitch. Woo! Ah, I'm the man and that hurts. Ooh, Noel is rattled now and the run scores. It's an RBI single for James. One nothing. Okay. Well, this just got tougher. Batting seventh is right fielder Stallion Johnson getting the start today in right field, hitting 222. Uh, no RBIs or homers yet on the season for him. First pitch fastball up and in is inside. Ball one. Change it down and in. He fakes the bunt and pulls it back. One and one as it catches the zone. Slider down in the way. Grounded in the hole to shortstop. Roper's not. Oh, he does get there on the dive, but there's no way he's going to get Johnson, who can fly. It's an infield single. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think we're cursed. I'm starting to think we're cursed. Oh, no. Base is loaded now for Bash, who's tense. Okay. If we're really cursed, and I want you to quote me on this, and if it happens, I want you to clip it. If we're cursed, Bobby Bash is going to hit a grand slam right here. Bash hitting buck fifty on the air with two RBIs. Let's see if I spoke it into existence. First bit slider down in the way. Swings over the top of it. He was looking fastball. 0-1. Alright, that was a good guess. Let's see what we can do here. You see him rumping in. Pops it up. Okay, maybe we're not cursed. Infield flies called. Noel with her poor fielding will make the catch behind the mound. One down, and that'll bring up our former catcher. Hey, look, it's the big guy, Jermaine Reigns. Look at that, his hitting, oh my god, his hitting has trailed off horribly. And this is why we get rid of him, people. He is too old to be in this league. First pitch fastball down is low for ball one. All right, let's slow it down here. We don't need to rush. Age of up and in. High, 2-0. Oh. Okay. Not going too well. <laughs> Two-seamer down and in. Out off as Reigns is late, 2-1. and one. Slider down in the way. Out, ball three, 3-1. Three one. Fastball down. Line to right. Ugh, it's over Snell's glove. That's a base hit. One will score. Burnside's got a good arm, so that'll hold the sec runner, which is surprising because that is James. Normally he's aggressive. 2-0 to score, and that'll bring up Drumpf as we're back to the top of the lineup here as Noel is falling further and further into the hole. Fastball middle of the plate. Oh, I let that go too early. It's deep to right. Burnside to the warning track. We'll make the catch for the second out as the first two runners will tag. And it's a sack fly for Drump. 3-0 the score. And that'll bring up Holmes over one. Lined out to, I believe, first base her first time up. First pitch change up down and in. Way out in front of it for strike one. Is that was a she was definitely looking heater on that one. Slider down in the way. Call to strike again. It's quickly 0-2. Change up down in the way. Outside. Pulled foul as Holmes stays alive. 0-2. Fastball up and in. High. 1 and 2. Good take. Two seamer up and away. Fouled back. One and two. Alright, let's see if we can get her with the slider. Slider down and in. Popped up. Shallow left field. Out for it. Woody. He'll call off Roper. And he'll make the catch to end the inning finally. Uh, Noel takes a shot to the pride. We'll, we'll say that. 
That scores the first run. Second run scores on a single. And the third run scores on a sack fly. Hot corners lead 3-0 after two as they get five hits in the inning. Oof. Got to bring up Snell. Second baseman's hitting 235 with an RBI. Bobber now just has time to cruise along here. Change up in there for a strike, 0-1. Fastball is away and just outside, 1-1. One one. Change up down and in, pulled foul by um, Snell, 1-2. Curveball below the knees, skied to right field. This is an easy catch for Johnson down the line. He'll make the catch, one down. Then again, Johnson does have poor fielding. Maybe we'll get lucky, maybe he'll drop one. Here's the rookie catcher, Parker Freeman, making his Super Mega League debut. Freeman, uh, he's a pure power hitter. Uh, blow average contact and uh, easy catcher, so I don't expect him to be able to run. What's Freeman's fielding ability here? Shit. Okay, explains why he dropped the ball earlier. Okay, come on, Parker. Fastball down and then misses. Ball one. Curveball middle in, and he jumps on that one. Deep left center field. Does it have the carry? Off the wall. It's going to be a first career hit. Is a double for Freeman as he smacks the top of the fence. Just missing a home run on his first career swing. What kind of story would that have been, eh? <laughs> That'll bring up right fielder Dominic Burnside making his season debut as he will get his first at bat of the season in his second year with us. I should have swung at that, Jesus Christ. Fastball down the middle. Fastball down the way shatters the lumber and Burnside already needs a new bat after one swing on the season. 0-2 oh count. Tough out activates. Fastball down and in. That's going to bloop into left center for a base hit. Jane's playing deep, respecting the power that Burnside does not have. And that will be an RBI single for him as uh, Freeman scores from second and three to one. Hey, we're on the board. First time in two games. Here's Woody o for one today. Burnside takes off. Here's the cutter outside. Ball one, throw down. Just laid. It's a stolen base for Burnside. His first attempt of the year. He's one for one. Fastball away, line to first. Oh, Sportswood didn't put his glove up. He has poor situational awareness. And that's a base hit. I forgot Sportswood's fielding is really low for a first baseman. Like it's like low 60s, I think. He should have been able to make that catch. Anyway, bases at the runners at the corners now after the single by Woody. That'll bring up Velos with an RBI chance. One down in the inning. Fastball up, line to second. Jumps does have the situational awareness, even though his fielding is worse than Sportswood. Two down, and that'll bring up Pitts. 0 for 1 today as he's tense. Lined out the third base his first time up. Curveball down and in. He drives that deep left field. Does it have the carry? It's gone! Stump Pitts hits his first homer of the season. It is a three-run shot. And the Freebooters take their first lead since game number two. Or did we, we didn't score first in game three, did we? We didn't even have the lead in game two. This is our first lead since game one. Holy shit. 4-3. Oh, yeah, let's that'll swing it in our favor. Bob, it's tense now. <laughs> I bring up Red here. He's 0 for 1 and still locked in. Change up inside. Ripped hard, but foul. 0 and 1. Fastball down. Oh, Bobber with the shoestring catch. Nice reactions from the cat pitcher. That ends the inning, but the freebooters answer back strong with four hits of their own and four runs. We take the lead 4 3. Middle of their lineup to up, though. Jump, Sportswin, and Belter, and Noel is still tense, I believe. Does second base. jumps. Now batting the first There we go, microphone's back now. Okay. <laughs> uh, Snell dove a little unnecessarily on that. Probably shouldn't have risked the injury. I probably could have just run it down anyway, but he makes the play. One down, and here's Sportswood. Uh, singled his first time up. He's one for one. Started the rally in the second inning. First pitch two, seamer up and away. Fouled off into the seats. So and one. 
Let her down in the way. Dribbled softly to first. Hits bare hands. Flips to Noel. That's a bad idea, but she makes the play. Two down. Brings a belter. One for one today with the single. First pitch fastball down the middle is ripped into right center. That's going to be a gapper. Belter's going to have extra bases for sure as he runs pretty well. Jennings gets it in. It'll be a two-out double, though, for Belter as he's on to extend the inning. Now to bring up James, who singled in a run his first time up off the um, <coughs> special area of Noel. First pitch change up down. Just low. Ball one. Good take. Fastball down at the knees. Fouled off. One and one. You see we're down and in. Fouled back. One and two. That's inside. Ball bounces off Freeman's glove as the mic cuts out. <laughs> Runner advances on the play, and now it's 2-2. Two -two. Count. Butter up and in. Fouled back. Still 2-2. Two two. Fastball inside. Ooh, fisted on the ground to third. Woody cuts it off and fires in time to get James, and that ends the inning. One hit for the hot corners, but the two-out double is stranded at third base. To the fourth, it's 4-3. Four Roper, Jennings, and Snell do up here against Bobbert. Here's Roper. Oh. There we go. Pretty sure the mic cable's on the fritz. Oh, well. Roper 0 for 1 today. Fastball up and in for strike. 0 and 1. Fastball in the dirt. Down and away. 1 and 1. Up and away. Heater misses. 2 and 1 to count. Fastball away. Fouled off down the line. Out of play. 2 and 2. Curve ball down. I think I chased it as he skies to the left field. Easy play for Drumpf. 1 down. They bring up Jennings, the rookie. Center fielder is 0 for 1 today. Curveball down. He hits it pretty deep to center, but Jennings doesn't have any pop in his bat as that's 2 down. Brings up Snell, 0 for 1 today. Cutter inside misses. Ball 1. Down the middle. 1 and 1. Down the middle again, and I pop it up. Easy play for the catcher. Reigns makes the catch, and that ends the inning. 1-2-3 for Bobbert here in the fourth. Bottom four. We're still at 4-3. Bottom of their lineup do up. Johnson, Bash, and Reigns. Here's Johnson. One for one today with a single. It's an infield single to shortstop. First pitch two-seamer down and away is outside. Ball one. Fastball down and in. Check swing for a strike. One and one. Slider up. Slider middle to play. That should have been gone as he rips it foul, but he's early. One and two. Change up at the knees. Up the line, foul. Still one and two. Fastball up and away. Foul back. Still one and two. Two seam rumping in. Chew. Good hold by Johnson as it's just inside. Two and two. Change up down and in. Dribbled on the ground to first. This is a tough play. Pitts bare hands it and beats him to the bag in a foot race. Good hustle. One down. Brings up Bash. 0 for 1 today. Popped out with the bases loaded his last time up. First pitch fastball down in the way. Pulled foul, 0-1. Change up middle of the plate. Ooh, that was asking to be punished as it's dribbled the short. Roper bare hands and fires in time. Two down. Now bring up Reigns. RBS single his last time up. He's one for one as he smoked one into right field. First pitch two seamer up and in. Fouled off, 0-1. Slider down in the way in the dirt. Ball one. Fastball up and away. Popped up. Second base. Snell back to, you know, on the grass in right field. Makes the catch, and it's a 1 2 3 inning for Noel. Match Bobbert to the fifth. That's still 4 to 3. Freeman, Birdside, and Woody do up. Here's the rookie Freeman. He started the rally in the third inning as he got a double on his first career at bat. It's also his first career hit. Also scored his first career run. Fastball away. Ball one. He did miss a home run by a matter of inches, so we know he's got the pop. Can he get it over the fence? Fastball away, 2-0 from Isaac. I chased it in the dirt. Dribbled to Bobbert. That's going to be an easy play. One down. 
I bring up Burnside, singled in a run his last time up. He's one for one, and then he also stole second base and scored later in the inning on a homer. Fastball high, ball one. Fastball at the knees is skied by Burnside. Pretty deep to right field, but it's going to die on the warning track as Johnson puts it in the glove. Two down. Brings up Woody, singled his last time up, and also scored on the home run ball. He's one for two. Fastball down and in for a strike, going one. Fastball down, grounded hard to short, right at Holmes, though, and that's going to be an easy play to end the inning. One, two, three. Bobbert cruises through the fifth easily, bottom five, top of the lineup for the hot corners due up. Drump, Holmes, and jumps. Here's Drump, 0 for 1 today. Sacrifice fly last time up to drive in a run. Ladder down. Hard grounder at the middle. That's a base hit for Drump. She's now 1 for 2. Jennings will get it in, and that will put her at first to lead off the inning. Brings up Holmes, who's 0 for 2 today. Two-seamer down in the way. Outside ball 1. Change up middle in. Hit and run was on as it's pulled foul. 1-1. One one. Fastball up and in. Check swing. Good take high. 2-1. Noel finally down the tense mojo here. Curveball ground, slider grounded to second. Oh, runner beats the play on the hit and run. Throw to first is in time now on the fielder's choice. One down, and that'll bring up Jumps, who's over two today. One out in the inning as he's got an RBI chance here. Change up down and in. Low and inside. One and oh. Fastball up and away. Lined in the right center. That's extra bases for Jumps, and that's going to tie the game. Definitely guessed right on a heater as he's going to have extra bases here. Jennings gets it in. It'll be a double for jumps. It's now 4-4. Four to four. So we're all tied up. Brings up Sportswood. One for two today with a single. First pitch slider down and away. Grounded to second. Snell goes to first with it on the fielder's choice. Two down as jumps gets to third. Got to bring up Belter who doubled his last time up. He's two for two today. Uh, he was stranded at third base when he did double as it was a two-out hit. First pitch fastball up and in, line to short. Roper makes the catch at his shoe tops, and that ends the inning. Although the game is tied on an RBI double by Jeb Jumps. 4-4 after 5 as we're all tied up. It's a brand new ball game in the 6th. Balos, Pitts, and Reddy are due up. It's our middle of our lineup. Let's see if we can do some damage. Here's Velos, 0 for 2 today. Lined out the second base her last time up. Curveball down. Hit pretty well left center field, but uh, no carry. James makes the catch. One down. Brings up Pitts. Three run homer his last time up. It's one for two today. First homer of the year for the big guy. Late on the high heater. 0 and 1. Third ball is in the dirt. Good take. 1 and 1. Fastball up. Hard grounder past Bobbert's glove, and it's into center field. Second hit of the day for Pitts. He's two for three. That's how you hit the ball. Brings up Redier. 0 for 2 today. Looking to. Find, find a hit for the first time today. Fastball down. That's up the middle. Base hit for Reddier. There you go. Spoke it into existence. Two on and one down now after the single. Brings up this five hitter, Roper. He's over two today. Roper looking to come through in a big way for his new team. Extra base hit here would be killer. I should have swung at that. God damn it. 0 oh and 1. Chased it inside. 0 oh and 2. Chased it high. Damn it. Two down. Pre I pressed too hard. I was pressing. Brings up Jennings. 0 for 2. Grounded out his last time up. Or, no. Jennings flew out last time up. He grounded out his first time. Heater high. Ball one. Bobbert now at 60 pitches. Starting to show his tired state. Change up inside as a strike. 1 and 1. Cutter away. Fouled off. 1 and 2 the count now. Big spot. Can Bobber get out of the jam here? Fastball down the middle. Grounded the second. Easy play for jumps as I swing over the top of it. It's like I'm golfing out there. <laughs> After six, it's four to four. James Johnson and Bash do up against Noel. Looking to get through the sixth inning, and it'll probably be her last inning of the game here. Why is there a receipt in my pocket? I, I have too many questions. Okay, James up now. One for two with an RBI single earlier in the game. Grounded out his last time up. Fastball up and in is pulled foul. Out of play. 0 and 1. Slider down and in. Inside and low. 1 and 1. 
Change it down and in. Pulled foul. One and two. Two seamer up and away. Outside, two and two. Trying to bait him. I know he loves the outside pitch. Change up, up and in. Line softly, right center field. Jennings giving charge. He slides, and I fucked it up. That's in the gap, and James is flying to third. This will be an easy triple at least. He might get four. Roper gets it in, though, and that's going to be a double. All right, that one's on me. I definitely ran it down with time to spare, and I thought I needed to slide. Johnson up now, one for two with the single his last time up. Our first time up. Slider down and in is called strike. Going one. That's nice popping away. It's a suicide squeeze. Freeman misses the ball. Come on, Rook. We had him at third. 0 oh 2 the count now. Pass ball away. Chased by Johnson. Still 0 oh 2. Change up away. Fouled off again. Still 0 oh 2. You see him up and in. Swung through at strike three. First punch out today for Noel. One down. I bring up Bash. He's 0 for 2. Granted that his last time up, he's also popped out. Fastball down the middle, and Bash finally goes yard. He left the fastball down the middle, and it's over the batter's eye into the concession area. First of the first? First of the year for Bash. His two-run bomb makes it 6-4. That was the break they needed, one bad pitch. Here's Reigns, one for two today, RBI single. Noel back to rattle. There's a slider down in the way. It's a check swing strike. 0 and 1. Fastball down and in. Inside. 1 and 1. Change it middle in. Ripped hard foul. 1 and 2. Two seamer down in the way. Grounded softly to second. Snell there. Fires to first. Two down. Noel back to new tense mojo. And that'll bring up Drumpf. RBI single her last. Not a sa RBI single. Regular single her last time up. She also hit a sack fly earlier in the game. First pitch fastball up and away. Called a strike. 0 and 1. Change it down and in. Low. 1 and 1. Two seamer down and away. Line to right field. Burnside charging. Sliding. Making the catch. And that's a great play to end the inning. But the hot corners capitalize on a mistake pitch as Bobby Bash crushes a fastball over the batter's eye. It's a two run homer. And that gives them the 6 4 lead after 6 to the 7th. Bottom of our lineup do up. Snell, Freeman, and Birdside against the tiring Bobbit. Or Bobbert. Here's Snell, 0 for 2 today. First pitch is a fastball in there, first strike, 0 and 1. That one's outside, 1 and 1. Fastball up, fouled off, 1 and 2. Chase the curveball in the dirt, strike 3 swinging. Snell retired by Reigns, 1 down. Brings up Freeman, one for two today with a double. Change up left in the middle of the plate, and Freeman's looking for another gapper as that's going to one hop to the wall out there. He's rounding first. He's going to get into second with a sliding double. His second hit of the game and his second double. He's two for three. Hey, the rookie came to play. <laughs> that brings up Burnside, one for two. RBI single earlier in the game. He flew out his last time up. Change it down the middle, hit down the right field line. Will that stay fair? Not quite. 0 and 1. Cut her down. That's up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. Freeman looking for home. He's going to hold it third as James has a cannon. <laughs> Runners at the corners here with one down for Woody. Christopher's one for three today. With a single, he's looking for his first career RBI still. Fastball up, line to first. Sportswood makes the catch and misses the slap tag on Burnside. Runners at the corners with two down now for Velos, who's over three. Fastball up, it's a hit and run, and that's going to get through for Velos. It's on to be a single. Burnside draws the throw from James and gets back to second. 6 5 to score. First and second with two down now for Pitts. Big man singled his last time up. He's also hit a three run homer earlier. Is he going to do it again against Bobbert? Swung late on the heater, 0 and 1. Fastball in the dirt, 1 and 1. Cutter inside, fisted up the middle. Jumps, dives, and cuts it off. He has to hurry, though. It is late. It's an infield single for Pitts, who beats it out. His third hit today. Base is loaded for the big man. Wicks it ready, or the DH. Locked in, 1 for 3 with a single. Our RBI team leader in average. 
team leader in home runs and RBIs last season. Is he going to come through in the clutch one more time? Cutter at the knees for a strike, 0 and 1. Fastball way high, 1 and 1. Change up away, 2 and 1 the count now to Red Ear. Cutter away, 3 and 1. Bobbert needs a strike. Hangs a curveball high. Red Ear jumps on it, left center field. Does it have carry? <laughs> oh, that's glorious. Drumpf went for the hero diving catch, and James walked over her and said, Nah, fam, I got it. It's easy. He makes the catch. Bases are juiced, and they are left stranded. Oh, that, that is very anticlimactic, but also very funny at the same time, so I can't be mad. <laughs> James just decided to disrespect his outfielder. 6-5 <laughs> uh, the score to the bottom of the seventh. Noel's done after six innings of work, giving up ten hits, uh, one home run ball, uh, one strikeout. Uh, she did get a line drive to the um, lady bits, but uh, managed to pitch through the pain for the most part. Coming into pitch is going to be a right-handed specialist, Grace Lupinovich, as this is a one-run game. I want to keep it at a run-run game if necessary. Uh, Lupinovich making her second appearance of the year. She has a 208 ERA and an 046 whip. One earned run given up in four and a third innings pitched in her first outing. Two hits given up with two strikeouts. One of those hits was a home run, unfortunately. Batting average against for her is 143. First pitch fastball from the way to Holmes is lined to short. Roper dives in the hole, knocks it down. It's going to be an infield single for Holmes. Her first hit today, I believe. She's one for four. Got to bring up jumps. One for three today with an RBI double. First pitch cutter. Curveball down at the knees. Low. Ball one. Cutter up and in. Check swing for a strike. One and one as it caught the closed zone there. Fastball down in the way. Hard grounder to short. Roper can't get there. That's in the left field. That's going to be a base hit. Bayless gets it in, and that holds him to second. First and second now after two hits to start the inning. That was a that had some heat on that grounder. Jesus. There's Sportswood. Singled his first time up. He's one for three today. First pitch change up down and in. Swung through at 0-1 as he was early. Better up and away is outside. 1-1. Curveball down on the way. Hard liner to right center field. He got some peace to it. It's gone. Over Burnside's leap. He gave it a hell of an effort, but it's a three-run bomb for Sportswood, and that breaks it open. It's a four-run game now. 9-5. First of the year for Sportswood. Yeah, I'm beginning to think we're cursed. <laughs> Here's Belter. Two for three today. Double and a single. Lupinovich just can't find this find an out here as that's lined up the middle. Four straight hit here to start the inning. Like, Grace is a very good pitcher. She's just getting owned here. Here's James. Two for three. Triple his last time up. He also has an RBI single. First pitch curveball down and in is low. Ball one. Fastball up and in. Called a strike. Runner goes. Throw from Freeman. Just late. Stolen base for Belter. For Bo, that is his first attempt of the year. He's one for one. Here, one one count now to James. Change it down and in. Ooh, low, two and one. I was surprised they stole there. They have a four run lead. Guess they wanted the free base. Cutter up and away, hitting the hole. That's going to be a base hit to left field. Alos comes up throwing for the plate. His belter's going to try and score. He will. It is 10 to 5 on the RBI for James, his second today. Brings up Johnson, one for three with the single. Curveball middle in, called a strike, going one. Fastball down and away, line to center field. Jennings charges, makes the catch. I'm not diving this time. One down. That's the first hit she's gotten out. Oh, yeah. We got to change it to the free losers. We can't win. <laughs> There's Bash. Two run homers last time up. He's still tense, though. Surprising. First pitch change up down and in. Dribbled the short. Roper flips the second one. Snell to first. Late. Bash beats it out on the hustle. Two down, and that'll bring up Reigns. RBI single earlier in the game. He's one for three. Fastball up and away. Fouled off. 0 and 1. Curveball down and in is going to be low. 1 and 1. Good block. Fastball down and away. Swung. Cut through it late. He is looking. Change up. 1 and 2. Cutter up and in is high and taken. 2 and 2. Good take. 
Change it at the knees. Hard grounder at the middle. Snell dives. He cuts it off. Nice play. He makes the play the first in time. That ends the inning. Hot corners have a 10-5 lead, though, after the three-run homer by Sportswood. And then an RBI single later in the inning by Geronimo James. 10-5 the score after seven. And my son is awake for some reason. I will be right back momentarily. <laughs> Uh, it may be more than a few minutes. Feel free to check on other streamers. I got to get him back to sleep. So, uh, uh, time out. <laughs> Okay, we're back. That actually did not take as long as I thought. Uh, top of the eighth here. We're down 10 to 5. Uh, Roper leads off. He's over 3 today in his team debut. Jay Rain Reigns is exiting for starting catcher Knox Oxen Soxen. That's a good upgrade there behind the plate, especially in the de defensive part of things. And also the offensive part of things when you think about it. Uh, Bobbert's going to start the eighth inning here despite being extremely tired and at 80 pitches. Fastball up and in is high. Ball one. Fastball down and in. Ripped hard at the middle. Diving is Holmes, but it's off for glove into center field. That is an infield single for Roper. His first hit as a member of the Freebooters. And also his first hit of the year. He's one for four. Number eight. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Are you back? Is it back? I think you can hear me. I think I'm back. Okay. All right, here we go. 
Bobbert staying in to face Jennings, who's 0 for 3 today. Cutter high, ball 1. Cutter away, 2 0. Fastball down and in, ball 3, 3 0. Jennings taking all the way. Fastball in there at the, at the letters for a strike, 3 1. Fastball up, line to left field, but that's going to be right at Drump, who makes the catch, 1 down. Runner still at first. Brings up Snell, who's 0 for 3 today in tents. Coming into pitch is left-hander Joseph Brosip, who is pitching hurt. So he got hurt earlier in the year. He is locked in, though, which counteracts the um, hurt nature of his uh, pitching abilities. Brosip has no record. He has a perfect ERA and an 0.83 whip. In the four games he's pitched, he's thrown six innings, given up three hits, two walks, and struck out four, also hitting a batter. His batting average against right now is a buck fifty. So despite being hurt, he's still pitching pretty well. Snell I'm probably going to take out here as he's just not having a good day in there. Brown's going to pinch it here off the bench. Change up. Nope, two seamer below the knees. That's right, Brosa, don't throw a change up. Ball one. Pass popping in is high, 2-0. Oh. Slider below the knees, 3-0 oh the count. Fastball low, ball four. Brown works a four-pitch walk out of the pen from Brosif. First and second now for Freeman. Rookie doubled his last time up. He's two for three today. Slider middle in. Hit pretty well. Deep to center field. He got a charge into it. But it's caught by James for the second out. Runners will tag. Throw to third is late. Both runners advance. Two down. Two in scoring position for Burnside. He's two for three today. Singled his last time up. He's also singled in a run earlier in the game. Can we get some runs here? Strike the letters on the heater, 0-1. Slider middle in, line to right field. That's one run at least. Johnson doesn't really have a good arm, but uh, the runner at second didn't get a good break. It's Bad Hot Brown also. He doesn't run. RBI single there. It's 10-6. to six. Bring up Woody. One for four today with a single. That's the second RBI of the day for Burnside. Fastball up and in for a strike, 0-1. Fastball away, 2-1-1 and one and one the count now to Woody. Fastball down in the way, grounded the second. Jumps makes the play on the backhand to first, and that ends the inning. Three bidders get a run, but they're still down four. Bottom eight, it's ten to six. Drumpf, Holmes, and Jumps do up against Lupinovich. I'd bring someone else in, but all the other bullpen arms are tired, so we're stuck with Lupinovich. Here's Drumpf, one for three today with an RBI single. Brown is coming out. Placing him at second base is going to be backup shortstop uh, utility infielder Dig Affordo. As uh, Brown can only play third base, and even then he has no fielding ability whatsoever. First pitch from Lupinovich is a fastball down in the way. Lined in the right center field. That's going to be a base hit. Jennings cuts it off. That's the second hit today for Drum. She's two for four. Lupinovich still tense. He's up home. One for four with a single. First pitch curve. Ball down in the way. He's in the dirt. Ball one. Got her up and in. Check swing high. Two and oh. Fastball up and away, fouled off, 2-1. and one. Change of down and in, fouled off, 2-2. Two and two. Curveball down and away. One hopper to first, Pitts deeks the runner, foes the second one, Roper back to first, it's a double play. Great heads up play by Pitts there to get the double play out of that. And then to bring up jumps, 2 for 4, RBI double earlier and also a single. Fastball down and in, fouled off, 0-1. Change it down in the way, grounded softly to short. Roper charges and fires. That ends the inning as Lupinovich has a clean eighth inning despite the hit. To the ninth, it's 10 to 6. We're going to need a rally here to win this. Velos, Pitts, and Redding are due up against Brosif. Here's Velos, one for four with an RBI single earlier. Drump will exit as Seymour Sox will come in to play right field, which will move Stalin Johnson back to his natural position at left field. So Johnson's fielding goes up, even though he's not a good fielder, but it's better than what he was out in right field. And Sox is actually a very good defensive outfielder in right. So hit to left field is basically the answer I've got for you. <laughs> Brosif is no longer locked in, but he is still staying out there to start the inning. Fastball away for a strike, going one. Ooh, caught the low outside corner. Good pitch, 0-2. Fastball up, line to center field. That drops in front of the sliding James. It's a base hit for Velos. 
Lead off runner on here. She's two for four now. Or two for five, sorry. I'm going to bring up Pitts, three for four day. Uh, singles last time up. He's also singled earlier and also hit a three-run homer. So far the hottest hitter in the lineup right now. At least for today's game is that fastball's in the dirt. Ball one. Fastball chased in the dirt, dribbled softly to second, jumps, misses the tag on the runner, but gets the out at first. That could have been really bad right there. <laughs> one down, and that'll bring up Redier. Singled his last time up. He's one for four today. Fastball inside for a strike, going one. Fastball up and away high, one and one. Heater away, two and one. Fastball middle limb shatters the bat, as that's an easy pop up for Brosif. Two down. Go figure. That'll bring up Roper as the last chance. He's one for four. Singled his last time at the plate. Heater up and away. Ball one. Slider down and in. Grounded in the hole to short. Backhanded by Holmes. She'll make the easy throw to first. And that ends the game as the Freebooters lose once again. 10 to 6, year final. We're going to start the year 0 and 5. You know, I've never had an 0 and 16 team in my entire franchise history this might be the team to do it <laughs> another double digit performance we got more than three runs but uh they scored 10 once again fuck really got to get the pitching in order that's what's really holding us back now uh looking at the box score everybody got a hit except jennings snell and fordo who didn't get the bat and brown drew a walk uh parker freeman in his debut gets two hits Burnside in his season debut gets three hits and drives in two of our runs, so good day for him. Pitts got his first homer of the year, a three-run shot. He also had three hits total. And Velos had an RBI single in there as well. On the other side, everybody in the hot corners lineup got a hit. Except Ox and Sox in his socks, who did not bat. Uh, three-hit day for Belter, three-hit day for James, who drives in two runs. Sportswood had a three-run homer. Uh, Bash had a two-run homer. Reigns had a RBI single. RB sack fly for Drum who had two hits, and then Jumps had an RBI double in there as well. Also had two hits. Uh, Belter had a three-hit day as well. Good for him. Pretty sure I already said that. Okay, on the pitching lines, Noel, six innings of work, ten hits given up, six earned runs, a strikeout, one home run ball. She falls to 0-1 on the year. She takes the loss. Lupinovich, two innings out of the pen, six hits given up, four earned runs, one home run. Didn't have a great outing as it was pretty much lost by that point. On the other side, Isaac Bobbert, the second-year man, gets a win. Seven in the third innings pitched, 11 hits, six earned runs, two strikeouts, one home run. It's not great, but it's good enough to get a win. He's 1-0 on the year. And then Brosif, an inning and two-thirds out of the pen, despite being hurt, giving up two hits and a walk. But doesn't give up any runs. Pitts is your player of the game. He had the three-run homer, followed by Sportswood with his own three-run homer, and James with the two RBIs on two singles, and also a triple thrown in there as well, just for shits and giggles. Hey, we got over 300,000 points today. Still, another loss. Another loss. 0-5. 0-5. At least we got more than three runs this game. That's that's a, that's an improvement. Let's sim up to the next game here as we're going to play the Hot Corners again on the road. Our sixth straight road game to start the season. Moonstars beat the Blowfish 9-4. Wild Pigs taking on the Herbisaurs, win 8-4-0. and oh. So they are 6-0 and oh on the season now. That doesn't matter. Although, good rally by the Nemesis. Saw Teeth beat the Sirloins, 4-3 in the Pitcher's Duel. That doesn't matter. Sandcats and Moonstars. Sandcats hold them off, 4-1. So they retake the division lead down there. That don't matter. That don't matter. Moose and Blowfish here. Blowfish rally and win in 14, 7 to 5. Good rally for them. Still the only team in the league without a win, so. Oh, that's embarrassing. Alright, next time out, we're going to be facing the Hot Corners again. Second game of a two game series here on the road. Uh, they're going to have uh, third year pitcher Chasey Kim, who's originally on the Buzzards. 1 0 on the season with no ERA and an 0 9 1 whip, so I think he threw a, might have thrown a complete game shutout, possibly. He's locked in as well, so it is a possibility. And for us, it's going to be Fabio Fabulo, the uh, former Sawteeth ace. Took the loss his first start, 1260 ERA with a 240 whip, so looking to improve. 
Looking around the league, Pumper Lumpkins is off the saw teeth, replaced by Nick Steele, former Sirloin DH. A hot corner signed Maximo Primo, replacing Joseph Brosif. Wow! Brosif gave you his all and you cut him? Interesting. Uh, well, that means he won't be hurt anymore, because once they're released, their injury status goes away. Maybe he's a free agent pickup. They bring in the closer, Maximo Primo, the former saw teeth arm. So, it is technically an upgrade, but is Brosif really the guy you want to get rid of? I don't think so. Especially not with the way he's been pitching. Let's see, what else happened? Sammy Grahams is finally signed. He's going to the B-Wolves, so he's going to be in the other conference, like most of our other free agents. And Jules Bergman is going to be the one leaving the team. Okay. All right. We need development options here. So we have this one for Brown. He doesn't really need the contact, so pass. Uh, let's see, this one for Burnside. It's an interesting one for sure. He could use the contact in the fielding, so. But it's only 3%, so I'm willing to let this go one more time to stay on the board for next episode. This one for Axelson. Improving the arm would be a good step. Not as bad of a chance to get bad jumps either. Her speed's not high enough where I'd be worried about stealing with her anyway. That's a possibility next time. Martinez, too high of a chance to get k pass. Freeman, to have a chance to get Whiffer, pass. Simpleman, he needs the accuracy. I'm not going to buy it. Okay. So really, the only one of these I like is the one for Burnside. And it's not even going to expire anytime close. Okay, so we'll hold on to all the money for now and let it build up some more. Set the lineup here, call today. All right, it's going to be Woody again leading off. Pitts moves up to the two hole. Reddier moves up to the three hole, and he's still locked in. Roper is batting fourth now. Avelos drops to the five slot. Jennings still bats six. Burnside will bat seventh as he's locked in. He'll be in left field this time as Velos shifts back to right field. Ho back in the lineup at catcher despite Freeman having two hits. I think having Ho out there is the better option. And Snell will bat ninth at second base despite being tense. So if Snell doesn't start hitting now, he'll be the one to get cut. Let me just mark a second baseman for next time out just in case. I mean, there is DP Turner, so if I do have options, if he doesn't get do well this next time out. Okay, watch. Turner will be signed after next game. Calling it now. Remember, we're cursed. <laughs> All right. So, another loss out there today, guys. We fall to 0-5 on the year, and uh, we're quickly falling out of playoff contention as we're the only winless team in the league. Although the game was closer uh, despite after dropping the ego, so I think the ego's in the right spot. We just... Need this team to stop being cursed and start winning. Next time out, we're going to finish the series here against the Hot Corners and then uh, see where it goes. Until next time, guys, this is the Nasty One, signing off.